What's going on everyone? Golden Ticket to History here in Woodlawn Cemetery, Woodlawn Memorial Gardens here in Gotha, Florida, which is about 25 minutes west of downtown Orlando. And we are here to search out the final resting place of a very, very famous, very famous musician from the 1970s, Mr. David Peverett. Peverett was the lead singer of the band Fog Hat, which was known for a couple pretty well-known songs. Songs like I Just Want to Make Love to You, and if you had any time playing some Guitar Hero in the late, mid to late early 2000s, you know the song Slow Ride. Peverett, uh, he, <clears throat> he was from the United Kingdom. However, he took and eventually somehow found himself in Orlando. That's of Orlando. Which is where his final resting place is. He's in section S of the cemetery. If you take and uh, I'll should give you some, some location. So if you look straight ahead, you can see these white statues straight that way. Just about 75 feet north, or straight ahead to the right, is Bob Ross's final resting place, the famous painter. So if you come this way around, there is a little dead end right over here, and that's the closest you can get to this section of the cemetery. Another thing to look for is the nice lake slash pond right over here. It's another landmark. There's a power line straight here. If you follow the power line straight around this way, you will find yourself being almost perfectly in line with the final resting place of Mr. David Peverett. He was born on April 16th, 1943, and unfortunately passed away from cancer on February 7th, 2000. So Dave Peverett passed away on uh, February 7, 2000, from, from a long battle after a long battle with cancer, and unfortunately, his wife Linda also passed away in December of 2000 after her own battle with cancer. Uh, many of his fans, his friends, his loved ones, his just acquaintances, anyone knew him by the name of Lonesome Dave. And this is his final resting place. Quite modest for someone who has some major, major hits, such as Slow Ride, I Just Want to Make Love to You, many others that are slipping off the top of my head. This is all coming off of memory. But one of the things that's unique about most of the memorial gardens here in Florida is almost all of the final resting places, the interments, actually have flat graves markers grave markers the big tombstones you don't see a lot in all of the cemeteries greenwood's an exception so like some for example greenwood cemetery which is one of the oldest cemeteries in orlando actually is the oldest cemetery in orlando it used to be called the orlando cemetery it was opened in the early 1800s mid to late 1800s that one has a lot of old timely tombstones. The other Greenwood Cemetery in Eustis, Florida that I did another video on, that one has some above ground tombstones. But all the memorial parks and memorial gardens tend to have these flat grave markers. And it serves a couple purposes from functionality. You know, it makes it a little bit easier for the groundskeepers to keep everything nice, posh, clean. You know, this is probably one of the most well-kept cemeteries that I've seen in Orlando. Greenwood Cemetery, as I showed you before, even though it has told many of the most iconic people in the history of Orlando, it also ha is the, the final resting place of four of the Pulse nightclub victims, as well as there's interments left open for any of the other victims who decide to take advantage of that. They just have to pay some very, very uh, nominal small fees to use those properties. 
But unfortunately, that cemetery being the premier cemetery of Orlando actually has found itself in disrepair. And it's quite unfortunate. I hope you liked this quick video coming out and checking out Mr. Lonesome Dave, Dave Peverett's final resting place. I'm going to add maybe a few clips in here, some of his songs that he's most famous for. Maybe sing along with it if you want to. As always, continue to look for the history in film. Till next time.